Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Star Wars X-Wing. We're doing the A-Wing historical combat missions now. This is Mission 1 Repair Depot Raid. Uh, I did read this at the end of the last episode, but just a refresher. Let me recycle it. Uh, this mission will familiarize you, you. This mission will familiarize you with the A-wing fighter. You will learn to configure your power system, use your targeting systems, and fire your laser. So, will pop up near an Imperial repair dock. sounds like it's going to be pretty simple. Almost like the first mission with the X-wing. Destroy the repair docks to disrupt Imperial operations. Yeah, it's just going to be blow everything up, which is unusual for an A-wing. Starfighters, transports, and shuttles are staged and waiting for repair. Eliminate the targets as quickly as possible before help can arrive. Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe we're going to have reinforcements if we Repair don't hurry. ships may be circling the area, but are unarmed. Okay, so we can expect Rip no... Pop up near an Imperial Repair dock. We can expect no resistance? Let's see. Now, for those of you who are not already familiar with all the different starfighters in Star Wars, the A-Wing is known for its speed and maneuverability, um, but it is also notably weak when it comes to shield strength and firepower. So, we can see right now, even with a balanced power setting, we're doing 120, which is fast. All right, so there's a lot of parked fighters here. Uh, the A-Wing's got weaker shields than any other fighter in the game. But again, the speed more than makes up for it, because look at this, we're we're fully charging our lasers right now and we're still doing 90, which is way faster than any other fighter. Uh, the A-Wing also carries concussion missiles instead of proton torpedoes. Concussion missiles are a little bit weaker, but just like the A-Wing, they're faster and more maneuverable. So they're better used against fighters than the proton torpedoes, which are better used against capital ships like these. I wonder if I should be inspecting these guys. No, they're, they should be just, yeah, they're all empty. This is a repair dock. We'll just go ahead and blow everything up. Oh, that, that's probably not a good idea though, to go, to get that close to a shuttle. These things can be dangerous when they explode. Do we have to take out the repair dock itself? I think we do. It's gonna be difficult for an A-Wing. It's gonna be a lot of shots, unless... Are there shields down too? No, they're not. I like how they used freighters <laughs> to be like a makeshift repair dock. Alright, so that's all the fighters. There's a tug here somewhere? Oh, there you are. Another one. That's it. It's just these two repair docks are left. So, you know what that means. Let's use some of our missiles on them. Oh, nice. It rolled over and destroyed the other one. That should be it. And we beat it before any reinforcements showed up. So 
Just waiting for that mission complete message. Come on. The mission should take priority over everything else. <laughs> like, there's no reason I should have to sit through all of this, you know, freighter repair dock destroyed or identified. It should just be like, hey, you won the level. See you later. But, we'll wait. There it is. Mission complete. Okay, let's leave. So, that's the first mission in the A-Wing. Uh, some of these missions are going to be fairly short, so we'll see how many of these A-Wing historical things we can knock out in one episode. It's most likely going to be three or four, but it really depends. I'm not sure what the other missions uh, involve. Alright, we got our first A-Wing battle patch. Destroyed everything. There we go, 24 kills. 23 were m Oh, right, because the other freighter blew- got blown up in the collision. Okay. Alright, A-Wing mission number two, Aggressor Squadron Training. In this mission, you will learn to, uh, learn respect for the speed and maneuverability of the A-Wing fighter by flying against Rebel Starfighters. Interesting. That's- that's new. Alright. You will fly in mock combat against other Rebel Starfighters. Each new attacker will be more aggressive than the first. Interesting. You will fly in mock oh, okay. That's it. What's fighters? this have to say? Part of advanced combat training includes simulated engagements with other rebel starfighters. In this mission, you will learn the strengths and weaknesses of our fighters. Each wave is flown by an increasingly skilled pilot. Pay close attention to their defensive tactics. Be aware that the A-Wings are armed with concussion missiles, so keep your shields up in case you fail to dodge them. Okay. Let's see what our first A-Wing patch looks like. There it is. So, obviously we're working on filling all this in. And then actually up here, these are supposed to be um, patches of the, the Starfighters themselves, which you get by flying, I think eight laps around that training course that we did in the very first episode. Um, so I might go ahead and do that off cam because I don't think anybody wants to watch that. It's really kind of boring. Maybe I'll do it once and then do the other two off cam because you have to do it with the X-Wing, the Y-Wing, and the A-Wing. And maybe the B-Wing? I don't know if the B-Wing gets a patch because that was added later. We'll see. Alright, so here's our first target, an X-Wing, named Novice, so he must be pretty weak. We're gonna start charging all of our stuff because we definitely want to be at full health. Now, if I remember correctly from playing this as a kid, these the reinforcements come in on timers, so the longer we take to destroy... Uh, each ship, the more likely it is that we're going to be fighting multiple enemies at a time. So you see here, like, we took that X-Wing out pretty quickly, and there's nothing else really, uh, nothing else to fight. But, just because we took it out, uh, if, if we took longer to take out the X-Wing, it's possible that the next target would show up while he was still alive. So, our goal here is to take these guys out as quickly as possible. That way we're only fighting them one-on-one. -on -one. Comes a Y Wing novice. I'm going to take my own advice from the last episode and not go head to head with a Y Wing. Easy peasy. There's really no reason that A Wing should ever lose to a Y Wing. We have, we're like twice as maneuverable. Okay, X-Wing Officer, that's interesting. 
So the X-Wing, the second X-Wing arrived before the first A-Wing. Maybe we... I think we might have destroyed the first one too fast. There's the first A-Wing. A-Wing novice. Oh, I think... I think we might have made a mistake. We've, we've got these... We've destroyed these kind of in a weird... Weird pattern now. Weird order. Ooh! He did shoot a torpedo. I think I blew it up. So, projectiles like torpedoes and missiles can actually be shot and destroyed. So, it is one strategy to go head-to-head -head with an A-Wing that's locking on to you and just spam lasers at it and hope that you destroy the missile before it hits you. Here comes Y-Wing Officer. So, we'll do that too here. kind of spam at this guy. Okay. We gotta cut our speed back too. Oh great, we got the X-Wing. Next X-Wing's coming in. Oh, X-Wing veteran. You gotta hit it on us. Wow, this guy's actually moving pretty quick. Oh, I can't wait to fight A-Wing Veteran. That's gonna be tough. I also don't know how many waves there are. I think it might go up through Ace. So that was Y-Wing Officers destroyed. X-Wing Veteran's gonna be here uh, destroyed. There's that. Here comes A-Wing Officer. We should be getting Y-Wing Veteran next. I could use missiles on this guy myself, actually. I think the missiles... I think we blew up each other's missiles. It's fine. We'll just use lasers from now on. See, look, I had him shields down in three hits. Five hits. Seven hits blew him up. I'm pretty sure it would have done it in six. Actually, we should use the missiles on the Y-Wings. Let's do that. When this Y-Wing veteran shows up, we're gonna use a concussion missile on him. I bet you if I use two, I bet you that just blows him up. Let's try that. Oh, he's a little close, though. Yeah, nope. See, I didn't have time to get a lock. I can't get a lock from behind, though. Like this angle though, I gotta get more like that. Wow, that actually did not blow him up. Yep, there's X Wing Ace. I think this is the last X Wing though. Dude, look at this guy move. A Wing Veteran. Alright, I'm, I'm fairly certain that was the last X-Wing. Hey, I hit him. Oh, he got a missile off too? Alright, so there's the missile. I could try to blow it up, or I can just... Keep avoiding it until it expires. Missiles have a limited flight distance and then they self-destruct. I'm sure I'll be able to just avoid it. Yeah, I think it just blew up. Who's shooting at me? A or Y-Wing Ace. Okay, A-Wing Veteran was destroyed. So it should just be this Y-Wing and one more A-Wing.
Oh, X-Wing top ace? Alright, I lied. There's a whole nother wave. This has to be the last one then. Play chicken with this X-Wing and then get behind him. Hold still. Alright, X-Wings aren't that hard to take out. They're pretty big targets. The A-Wing, dude, A-Wing top ace is gonna be a pain in the butt. Alright, what's next? Just A-Wing ace. Okay, he came out of hyperspace closer than I thought. Dude, look at that sky move! Ooh, we got lucky. Okay. Y-Wing top ace. This has to be the last Y-Wing. Blind fire, frick, I should not have done that. It's fine. I was hoping to just get a blind fire missile hit. Okay. Should just be one A wing left. I don't know why, I just realized this mission timer is up of upwards of 20 minutes. I don't know why they expect you to take 20 minutes to take these guys out, but I guess... You know what would be really fun? Would it be to wait and get all three top aces alive and fighting you at the same time. Where's this guy? There you are. Oh my god, look at this guy move. That's it. Yep, that's it. Whew, not bad. That's fun. That's some good dogfight training right there. There we go. Destroyed all of them, all of them up through top ace. Forty-eight percent accuracy is not bad. Okay, mission three. Intercept TIE Bomber Run. This mission highlights the A-Wing's superior interception capabilities. You will learn to employ concussion missiles against incoming TIE Bombers. A senior officer's shuttle is undergoing repairs to its hyperdrive. The shuttle is protected by an escort of three rebel fighters. A Star Destroyer has entered the area and launched a fighter attack. Star Destroyer Malice. The attack consists of TIE Fighters and TIE Bombers. A-Wing Red 2 will move to intercept the TIE Bombers. Red 1 and Red 3 will stay back and guard the shuttle. Why though? A senior officer's shuttle is undergoing repairs okay. to its whatever. Um, alright, we're just gonna go. Trying to keep things moving. There's the Star Destroyer. Uh, how far out are the fighters? Nine kilometers? Alright, we'll dump power and go towards them. Let's see how fast we can make this thing go. We are an interceptor after all. Holy cow, look at that. 180? 180. That's really fast. 
I don't know what the units are in this game. It doesn't say. I'm gonna guess it's like... See, it can't be kilometers per hour. Because that sounds slow. Whatever. Whatever it is. I think it's a, a fictional speed. Oh, come on. How far are the bombers? Oh, they're, all right, they're three kilometers away. We can engage some of these fighters real quick. We don't have a ton of time. Where are you? Alright, where are those bombers at now? Let's get to them. Oh, hello! Actually, we should definitely attack from behind. Oh, that was a blind fire! What do we got left? Oh, this one TIE Fighter blew past? Oh crap, okay, go, go, go. Oh, he still has 10 kilometers to go to get to the shuttle. We should be able to chase him down. It's interesting, why one, why one of the TIE Fighters would just ignore me, though? We've got everything going to engines right now. And we're not even gonna- we're not gonna charge our lasers when we get close, we're just gonna get a missile lock, squeeze off a concussion missile, and that should be the end of the episode- or end of the mission. I can't talk this morning. Two kilometers, where are you? There you are. That should be it. Done. Or do we have to actually wait until this shuttle leaves the area? I bet you we do. That's annoying. There they go. Mission complete, and off we go. Okay, we've definitely got time for more. So, A-Wing Historical Combat Mission 4, Attack Run on Freighters. In this mission you will learn to escort and support Y-Wings while, while on a torpedo attack run against a convoy of Imperial Supply Freighters. A convoy of Imperial Freighters is on its way to the Gorman system. TIE fighters from the Gorman base have already rendezvoused with them. Red 2 will engage the escort, while Red 1 attacks the freighters. Oh god, it's just a single craft and for each type? Of I thought we were defending Y-Wings, not Y-Wing. Okay. We're probably gonna have to help with the destruction of these freighters. But... Most importantly is take out these ties. Where's red one? There's red one. All right, red one. I'm gonna move ahead. Oh, good. Fire torpedoes already. Let's get rid of those freighters.
Wow. We're gonna have to move quickly here. They are definitely going for the Y-Wing. Oh no you don't. Uh, these guys look like they're coming for me though. Yeah, good luck. Oh, okay. There can't be that many left. I think this is the last pair. Can't tell who they're going for, though. It looks like they're going for the Y-Wing. Nice, the Y-Wing destroyed a freighter. And nope, they're coming for me! And they're gone. <laughs> All right. Let's join in on this action. Really? You didn't finish him off? That's it! That was a short mission, if that's really all there is to it. Is that really it? Uh, he's leaving, so I think that's it. Oh yeah. Okay, so we had a mission to make sure that he succeeded his mission. I bet you that's what it was. Alright, I'm just gonna go. Even though I haven't gotten the mission complete, I'm gonna trust the music here and say that we did it. Yeah, okay, so yeah, Y-Wing Red 1 completed mission, so he had to actually escape before we could end the level. Um, heck, let's see if we can't do one more. Mission 5, Protect Rebel Starfighters. This mission emphasizes the importance of protecting vulnerable rebel fighters as they return from a combat mission. The Calamari Cruiser Kathleen Starfighters are returning to base. Shuttles from Gold Squadron will hyper in soon after. Red Squadron will maintain security during the recovery operation. Okay. If attacked, the A-Wings will intercept the Imperials. Meanwhile, the X-Wings will maintain a point defense around the Kathleen. Alrighty. The Makes sense. Let's do it. I don't know if we've seen a Calamari Cruiser in this game yet. There it is! <laughs> That's a Calamari Cruiser, alright. And that right there is the hangar. So detailed. can you do? Game's old. I mean, honestly, you can tell what it- well, I can tell what it's supposed to be. But I don't think it's terrible. Especially for the time. You just gotta remember that this game is 16 years old. Uh, we should be charging our shields. There's no reason to not be doing that. Okay, so here's a bunch of the fighters that are returning to base. 
And some A-wings up there. So all we gotta do is wait for them to dock. There, A-wing Blue 9 entered the hangar. Pretty simple. What could possibly go wrong? We'll just hold position over the Kathleen right now because we don't really know what to expect. I could kill my engine and just float here. One Nebulon B frigate just entered the area. We're gonna just boost towards it, because why not? They're probably gonna drop off fighters, so we want to get as close to it as we can. Six TIE Bombers! Whoa. That's a big drop-off. Okay. Let's switch to missiles here. Where are they? My goodness, here they come. Oh, that's a lot of fire! One new X-Wing. Wow, they actually broke formation! Oh nice, there's another A-Wing here that's helping me. Someone's locking onto me? Who just shot a missile at me? This guy? You little devil! Oh, it hit! That did a pretty significant amount of damage. Why can't- Hey! 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 Stop shooting me from behind! Shuttle of Commandos. Uh, where'd the frigate go? The frigate entered hyperspace? Oh, that's not good. I think I know what they're doing. We need to boost to the other side. I think they're gonna re-enter the area on the other side of the- of the, uh, cruiser. Maybe we did good enough that we destroyed the bombers quick enough that it doesn't matter. There it is. I was right. I'm th I considered dropping my shield energy into engines to go faster. But since we know that these bombers are actually capable of firing missiles at us, I think that's a bad idea. I want to keep my shields up. And there goes the frigate leaving again. I wonder if it's going to pop up a third time back where it was before. Same thing, it dropped off six TIE bombers and then left. fire that again this is easy <laughs> uh, that's one way to do it who needs a missile lock Alright, so what's left? 
X-Wing Gold 4 has to dock. Shuttle Blue 2 has to dock. Gold 3. So Gold 3, Gold 4, and Blue 2 are all that's left. Alright, I can see Blue 2 is right there. He's about to dock. This must be Gold 4. And that must be... Oh, that's Red 2. Where's Gold 3? Oh, Gold 3 just docked. Okay. So this is the last one then, this X-Wing right here. Don't worry, X-Wing, Gold 4, we'll fly in. You might want to level that thing off there, buddy. It's an unusual attitude to, to come in for a landing at. But whatever works for you, I guess. Here he goes. Gold 4 entered the hangar. And that's it. I wonder if we have time to wrap up all of the A-Wing missions. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. It might make the video a little bit longer, but why not? Let's hurry up. A-Wing Mission 6. In this mission, you will learn the value of the A-Wing's speed and special sensors for deep space reconnaissance. So, deep space reconnaissance. A probe has detected cargo containers in a quiet sector. Take your A-Wing in for a closer look and identify their contents. Stay alert for trouble. Although this is a quiet sector, it may be a trap. Okay. Are we supposed to engage anything? I gotta check this real quick. Uh, D Space Pro detected several seemingly abandoned Imperial cargo containers. Lone A-Wing was sent to take closer look to determine their contents. If they prove valuable, a recovery operation will be planned. While this was indeed a trap, the A-Wing pilot was still able to identify the container's contents while being engaged by TIE fighters that had been hiding among the containers. Spoilers. Uh, in the ensuing battle, the pilot destroyed all of the ties, only to be confronted by the arriving arrival of Imperial Frigate. Fighting through the additional waves of ties, he was able to make his escape. That the trap was sprung on a single starfighter indicated poor preparation or bad training among the Imperials. Imagine the damage that could have been done if they had waited for a rebel recovery operation. Alright. You must ID the contents of every container and destroy all the ties hidden among them. Alright, easy enough. Let's do it. I shouldn't take too long. Since we know what we're doing is based on speed, we're just gonna crank everything to max engines and see what we can find. Actually, that might not be a good idea. We might be going too fast. Yeah, I don't want to accidentally blow past targets like I just did. Where'd that one container go? Okay, so we examine that one. Uh, but, whoa, see? That's... E okay, let's start charging our lasers again, because there is such a thing as going too fast. Alright. And there's quite a few containers out here. TIE Fighters, right there. Um... Does that mean the frigate just showed up? Or some reinforcements? Uh, yes it did. There is a frigate coming towards us. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, whoa, it's only eight kilometers away. We gotta book it. Uh, we gotta identify these, like, now. It hasn't launched any more fighters, though. Chemicals. Chemicals. Cro- I'm not even gonna try to read that. There comes the fighters from the frigate. More ties. Uh, 
Oh, it's such a weird angle. We're aiming straight up. I know space doesn't have a rifle up and down, but because this is a video game, believe it or not, there is a rifle up or down, and when you try to aim directly up or directly down, your controls start to get a little weird. It makes it really difficult to aim. Okay, now we should just have to inspect the rest of the containers, and I think we're done. We can ignore the rest of the ties because they came from the frigate and not the containers. Jesus. Engine spare. Oh, we got these two. more is this the, this has to be the last one yeah this is the last one unless am I supposed to destroy those containers containing tie fighters I might have to go back and blow those containers up there we go that's all the containers inspected these up anyway. I still haven't seen a mission complete message, but it might be a while. That's gotta be it. Waiting for that message. Sucks though, is every one of these ties that I destroy is gonna add another message to the message queue. Mission complete, I'm going home. See y'all later. Promotion to Lieutenant. Here we go. TIE Fighter Group, 50% was destroyed. Uh, no, we didn't have to destroy the containers. We just had to identify everything, but that's fine. Very good. All right, that's it for the A-Wing historical missions. We knocked out all six of them in this one episode, and it took less than 50 minutes, so I'm happy with that. Um, in the next one, mm, you know... I had originally said that we were going to go ahead and do the B-Wing historical missions, but now that I think about it, since the B-Wing was added in the expansion pack, I think it's probably better to go back and do the story missions from the base game first. Because if I'm not mistaken, and actually... Yeah, okay, I actually remember this correctly. Some of these B-Wing historical missions are missions from the story, but flown in a B-Wing instead. For example, this mission 6 out of 6 is actually 
the Death Star trench run in a B-Wing. So we're going to save the B-Wing missions for later. So we've done all the X-Wing, all the A- or Y-Wing, all the A-Wing. Let me see what our uniform looks like. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? And we're a lieutenant now, so we got a new new rank on our shoulder. Um, yeah, actually, I think I might go ahead and get these three patches next. So we'll do one of those on cam and one of them, uh, or two of them off cam, because you guys definitely don't want to watch it three times. Uh, but that's going to be it for now. I can't think of anything else. Uh, yeah. So, let's go back. Back to the, uh, starport where we started. And this is what we're gonna do next time. New tour. Alright. But, uh, that's gonna be it for now. Mobius1 here. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.